Hello, I'm Emma. Today in this tutorial we're going to do stippling, uh, another form of free motion embroidery. Also sometimes called meandering. This can be done in any size from very small up to fairly, fairly large. The one thing to bear in mind with stippling is the smaller you do it, the tighter the loops you do, the stiffer your quilt is going to be. Obviously it's going to take a lot more thread and a lot more time. The larger or more open loops that you do are going to make the quilt softer especially if you're going to use it on a bed, it's always useful. Okay, the machine is set up and ready to go. I've got my tension set to six, I've got my free motion foot on, I've got drop my feed dogs. I'm just using a quilt sandwich here. I'm just going to start somewhere in the middle, pull the needle up to pull the thread through. to keep my stitch sense set to zero because it's your movement and speed that controls the stitch length so you don't need to worry too much about what the machine's set to. Okay we're just going to start off and then I'll show you what we've done. So I'm just doing fairly small loops at the moment. And it's control and I'm just doing very tight ones. The control comes and knowing how much speed to put on your machine and as you get more confident you can speed up as well. size gauge of stippling you do, the smaller band that you work in. So I'm working in about a two to three inch band here. And the art is to try not to touch or cross over with stippling a, a stitch line that you've already done. You can make it as meandery, as curvy as you want to. Okay, so I've done. Got my needle. I've done quite a bit of small there, as you can see. And now I'm going to do some slightly larger so you can see the difference in texture. So, as you can see, with the larger, you have your hands slightly further apart. You use something just. It's not an exact science, it's what you'd like to. So you can see you cover a larger area much, much faster with the, uh, the larger stippling. So you can see. So you can see you cover a much, much bigger area. You can add a variation to it, of which I'll go through in the next one, but it's just a case of practice. Some people enjoy drawing lines and following the lines. Um, it's always a good idea to tell, to check as well when you're doing your stippling, if your tensions are right or not. If they're not, you will get, let me just do a few to show you. If I do a curve now, I can do a couple of curves and then I can show you. I'll do a crossover and then we can see. If your tensions aren't quite right, you'll get what we call teeth on one side. to make your tension. I'm just lowering my tension a bit here, just to, to check. 
check. And again, I'm going back into those big loops. You can intertwine the loops. Yeah, that's much better than the touch. You can intertwine the loops, you can do variations. It's entirely up to you, but it's free. Free motion, as you can see. Okay, in the next one I'll do free motion with extra detail. Uh, you can add stars, you can add hearts. So please come and join me. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Alternatively, leave a comment and if there's something you'd like to see, I'll see if I can do, it, do a video for you. Thank you very much for watching out.